Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. Okay, let us close our eyes. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus, for your love, for your mercy. Thank you, Jesus, for your word that is alive, that is operative. Thank you, Jesus, for the, for the mercy. Thank you, Holy Spirit, for making this teaching extremely easy for us. Thank you, Holy Spirit, for confirming your word through signs and wonders. Through Jesus' name, Amen. Okay. Now let us go to James chapter 1, verse 2. My brothers and sisters, whenever you face trials of any kind, my brothers and sisters, whenever you face trials of any kind, so whenever you face trial or if you face trial, if you face trial means you may face trial or you may not face trial. But the scripture says whenever, that means the Bible is saying trials will surely come if you want it or if you don't want it. But the trials will surely come. Okay, now we, do we know the difference between joy and happiness? Okay, what is happiness? It's an emotion. Happiness is an emotion. See, happiness always depends on what others do to us. If that person is nice to me, I'm happy. If that person hurts me, I'm sad. So, the happiness depends on uh, how your circumstances it depends on what the other person is doing to me. What it, uh, the happiness depends on, uh, okay, for example, if we can take our families, if uh, the person is nice to me, I'll be happy. If he gives me or she gives me pain, I am sad. It's the same thing. It is what, what, Happiness is controlling, like what others do to me is controlling my life. But joy is completely different. Joy, joy is something very different from happiness. Joy means knowing the end result. Joy comes by knowledge. Does the Bible say that the Jesus embraced the cross by joy? Yes. How can someone embrace the cross by joy? when someone is insulting you, when someone is spitting on you, when someone is abusing you, is it possible to be in joy? Okay, but Jesus, even though he was getting so much of torture, he was getting the ab abusive words, he was, they were abusing him. Even in that situation, he was in joy. Because even though he was going through the suffering, he knew the end result. His focus was not on the suffering. His focus was on the end result that today me and that uh, you and me being set free, that you and me are receiving forgiveness, you and me are receiving healing. His focus was on that. So even though he was receiving so much of torture, he was in joy. Okay. Now, uh, let me share you my one small testimony, how my life changed. When I was small, maybe high school, I can say, I used to go to mass every day. Early morning, 6 o'clock, I used to go to church. I used to, I used to pray, but then I didn't know how to pray. I used to pray for the sake of praying. I used to ask God, give me that, give me this, but still I couldn't see any change in my life. Because I was just doing it for the sake, someone, my, my, my mommy is telling me, go pray, pray. That is the only reason I used to pray. But then, now if I see my life, 
ఓకే వెన్ మై మమ్మీ స్టార్టెడ్ లిసనింగ్ టు ద జేసీఐఎల్ఎం టీచింగ్ ఈవెన్ షీ యూస్ టు గో షీ యూస్ టు మినిస్టర్ బిఫోర్ బిఫోర్ కమింగ్ ఇన్ టు జేసీఐఎల్ఎం ఈవెన్ షీ యూస్ టు గో డు ద మినిస్ట్రీ బట్ ఫర్ అస్ ప్రేయింగ్ వాజ్ ఓన్లీ సింగింగ్ ప్రేజ్ అండ్ వర్షిప్ వీ డిడెంట్ నో ద ట్రూత్ వీ డిడెంట్ నో ద వర్డ్ వీ విల్ జస్ట్ యు నో గోయింగ్ ఈవెన్ మై మమ్మీ యూ నో ఐ యూస్ టు సీ హర్ షీ యూస్ టు గో టు డిఫరెంట్ ప్లేసెస్ టు preach but then we didn't know how to preach like you know the exact word like oh, the deep meaning of the word we used to just you know help that this only that much but when my mummy got into jclm teaching she started listening to it maybe one and a half two years ago she used to play it whole day in the house she used to keep the teaching on she used to write notes i used to think what is she doing like i had seen her going out in but i had not never seen her uh, preaching like you know listening to the teaching all the time i think i used to think what is what is she why is she behaving like this why is she listening to the teaching all the time you know that time i had put her in trial but still she was in rest that time she knew that you know some day even i'll get the word but then since the teaching was on all the time i i used to go that said this said in the house right so yeah slowly even i started liking the teaching you know i started making the notes that time i i could see changes in my life how i was before and slowly the changes started taking place you know i uh, i got to know like i got to know the truth what word says and uh, the same thing even uh, like i can say this one thing after my degree like few months back uh, i had given interview for like three four companies but then i didn't get the call but then i knew if i do god's work god will surely do my work i knew that much so okay i decided to go to that time discipleship was going on i i had given the interview long back but then i had no response that time but still i was in peace like i was in joy because i knew the scripture right because i knew joy is end result knowing the end result i knew what the end result was that is the reason i was like okay now i'll attend the retreat as soon as it was not even like three four hours i just went to the nelladi i just got on from the bus i got a call from one company saying okay you are selected i am sending your offer letter immediately you are joining from monday it was uh, i think i went to nelladi on wednesday or thursday tuesday wednesday maybe they were like from monday you are joining so then i completed my two days uh, retreat in nelladi then i came back so praise god see here i didn't lose my faith in god because i already knew right what would be the end result okay so same thing i was uh, telling you about like how jesus didn't lose uh, like you know he had joy when they were torturing him because he did not see that they were torturing but he saw jesus forgiving even at the moment he was not thinking about himself the pain what he was getting he was thinking about the soul that should not die he did not know how he did not see how painful it was for him but he saw that joy because he saw this was going to bring him salvation the salvation for you and me what we are have like what we are having today so happiness is what others do to me joy is what i do to others you can never experience joy if you are self centered we want everybody else to be perfect right if we see someone we want that person to be we always uh we always see the fault in others we always want uh, others other person to be perfect but the word of god says don't think about them you focus on the end result and uh, you focus on the end result and you focus on the promise and allow that uh, word a word of god to ha- uh, and you have that word of god to produce patience you allow that word of god to produce patience that time the word of god will perfectly work for you uh, it will perfectly work in your life so you will come to a position that time okay lord i have joy i don't want anything else i don't care about what others are telling i will be like you know i will be in joy i will be telling like 
you know i can tell god that i'm okay i am in joy i don't care about what what others are telling me my happiness like i don't depend on others right like happiness is others what others are doing to me i'll be depending on that but when we have joy we already know the end result so that is when we see the harvest that is the due season so in galatians 6 9 it says do not be wary of doing good but at the due season you will reap the harvest if you do not faint the due season and uh, the patience that is built in me in the midst of the trials all the negative all the negative things and all the impurities will burn and i will be like spiritually uh, my muscles will be strengthened so this was the small thing i had to share about how my life changed and how i came into the world praise god